Hello everyone. Digging through my freezer, I came across a bunch of strawberries from my little strawberry patch I got from last year. And this year's is already starting to bloom, so I imagine I'll be getting quite a few strawberries this year. These are ones I just throw, threw in the uh, freezer and Ziploc bags. I didn't top them or anything. So what I'm going to do is we're going to figure out something to do with these that'll be kind of original. So I'm going to let these defrost and cut off the tops of these and we'll make something nice out of them. I'll see you then in a minute. Okay, so we got these all done. I cut the tops off while they were a little bit still frozen. And I'm just going to mash these up for now. What I think I'm going to do with these is I'm going to build onto my success of the cranberry brittle. And I'm going to make some strawberry brittle. I'm going to try it anyway. Okay. That's a coarse crush. Let's see how many cups we got out of that. And it looks like we got eight cups out of that. Not bad from last year's harvest left over. Alright, so let's take this down to four cups. I'm going to do this in two, two different batches. Try it two different ways. That's near enough. So with this one, I'm going to try and mix in some of my Dutch process cocoa. I'm using Dutch process because Dutch process will mix in much better than a, your normal cocoa powder, plus it's nice and dark. Let's mix that up and see what kind of taste we get from that. I don't even know if this is going to be uh, taste any good. I was trying to get that chocolatey strawberry flavor. What I used there, I used an eighth of a cup of cocoa powder to four cups of crushed strawberries. Unsweetened so far. Not to say I won't sweeten them. I mean, after all, this is going to be a candy. Now, I'm going to mix in some sugar with that. I'm going to mix a third of a cup of granulated sugar. Because I tasted the cocoa in that, which I, was nice, but it was a little bit bitter. I think we're going to call that good. I'm going to do the same with this batch by putting a third of a cup of sugar, granulated sugar in this one, but no cocoa. Yeah, that tastes good. Of course, if you guys don't want to use sugar, you can go that way, or you want to use some kind of other sweetener. That'd be fine too, probably. I don't know how it would react. We're wanting this to break up like brittle. So I don't know how, say, Steva or any of that other stuff would work, because I've not really used that. Four cups of plain strawberry. Get that all kind of evened out. And then we 
do our four cups of chocolate strawberry. going to sprinkle some sugar over the top of that because I noticed on the cranberries that gave it a nice pretty look to it. And I know you guys are saying gosh all that sugar but it is can going to be classified as a candy after all. That's it. We'll put a couple of lids on these. I'll stick these in the freezer until they're frozen solid. And in my next load, I'll put these in with something else. Actually, the next load is going to be a gallon of milk going to be done off screen then after that we'll run these through with something else and I'll see you when they come out wish me luck okay there we have it that took about 40 hours it said it was ready at like 20 and that's like I knew no way with all those seeds in there so I let it run for 40 hours so we have our plain strawberry and our chocolate we're calling this brittle to see if we can make it brittle up like brittle. Yep, nice and crunchy, that's what I wanted. Okay, that broke up real nice. Now I'm going to try the normal strawberry first because I don't want to ruin my chocolate one. Have taste chocolate then the plain strawberry. So let's see what this tastes like. Mmm. Mmm. That is delicious. That is absolutely gorgeous. Not too sweet. It's got a lot of nice tartness to it. Oh, that is really good. Let's try some of this chocolate. I'm really curious how this chocolate's going to come out. Well, it's not a chocolatey flavor. It's a cocoa flavor. I like it. But I 
I think if you didn't know that that was cocoa in there, you might think that was an off taste because it's not a really strong cocoa. So, I'm going to call this a success with the cocoa, with the asterisk that you have to know you're eating cocoa. Otherwise, you might bite into this and think, what is that taste? But if, since I know it's cocoa, I can say, okay, yeah, that's cocoa. Otherwise, you might think, I don't know. You might wonder what it is. Like, were those strawberries bad, bad or something like that? I don't know. I like it. But to be honest, I think I will just stick with the plain strawberry. Only because it's kind of a weird taste that. It's not chocolate, it's cocoa. It, you know, and there's a distinct difference. But the strawberry, spot on. Tart, you get that little glaze of sugar on the top. And we didn't put a lot of sugar in, the, in it. I think it was like an eighth of a cup, maybe. I can't remember. But we did sprinkle quite a bit on the top. And that. It's got a, a bite texture, but melt in your mouth delicious. I'm really happy with that. So, just a short experiment. Definitely do again. And eh, maybe might need to do a little bit more work on that one. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something from it. I hope I encourage you to try things on your own to do your own things, do it your way, and uh, just experiment, and enjoy the, enjoy the process, and have fun doing it. So anyway, thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time.